Hello everyone. This video is uh, going to be a little bit different from our last videos. It's going to be very short, I hope. Hopefully just one take. But uh, it's just to give you a few an announcements and uh, talk about questions we have been receiving lately after our videos. And uh, address a little bit what our plans are for 2023. Now, right now it's the beginning of April. Gida is in Grimsey and uh, as you might notice that I'm in a new location. You have a new background here. We, I'm in a new gallery in our garden and uh, we are probably going to make a special video about the making of this small gallery but I want to do it when Gida is here because uh, she really loves this and uh, I'm quite sure some of you might be interested in just seeing what we're doing here. Besides making travel plans, we are in the middle of changing over to mirrorless from the uh, F-mount gear in Nikon. And uh, this has been a very interesting process. Well, the plan is to change completely into mir mirrorless this spring. I don't know how it goes, but uh, this has been, as I said, a very interesting development and uh, experience. And uh, I will also probably make a special video about this. Uh, this change has been a challenge and uh, both financial and emotional because uh, we are taking on a new world of the mirrorless and uh, changing from our old gear. I call it old, but it's far from being outdated. And one of the questions we are addressing is, um, can we live, out, live without our great lenses? It's a big question, huge question in many ways, but this is something we will probably talk about in, in, in a future video. The plan is to take you along on some of the trips and uh, expeditions we have planned. And uh, actually for 2023, there's going to be more camping. Uh, most of the time we travel by mobile car, but this year we are going to do more camping, at least I am. And uh, Gida, she really loves the mobile home, but there are a few videos we shot last year that we still haven't published. Mostly it's uh, bird photography videos, but a few landscape videos. And uh, in the coming weeks, we are probably going to uh, publish them on the channel and uh, make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss them. I haven't edited them yet and uh, I still uh, keep in mind that uh, now in the beginning of April it's uh, winter time here in Iceland everything is covered in snow and uh, the reason I haven't published them is that I found something wrong with publishing bird photography videos when I have snow here and uh, they're shot in the middle of the summer. So you might see a little bit older stuff in the next coming weeks but we will start taking new stuff uh, now late in April and uh, when May arrives the bird season is full on here in Iceland and we look very forward to uh, many adventures regarding bird photography. I have to mention that we are very thankful for uh, the responses we have got from about our ebook uh, about photographing Iceland. Now, Photographing Iceland, this one, a 352 page book. We published an ebook version of this, a real ebook, resizable and uh, very easy to use on the phone. You, you can get this book in the ebook, and uh, we are very happy with the responses because uh, it gives you us actually a bit more back to publish this ourselves as an ebook. And uh, our online store, ggart.is, has been working very well for us. And uh, 
this is actually one of the reasons we can still work as photographers here in Iceland. We are not guiding and uh, this takes me to one of the questions we have been receiving from our viewers. We are always getting emails about are you are you guiding or uh, something like that. Do you take on workshops? No we don't at the moment. We don't. And uh, our main income comes from books like Photography in Iceland which has been a I'm I'm amazed how this book came out. It's 100 locations and uh, it's completely written uh, by us, me, me and Gida, photographers for photographers. And I wish we had this book when we started to uh, travel around Iceland. It would, would have saved us a lot of time. Now, we have also been receiving very good response uh, about this book, Grimsey, the Arctic Wildlife Wonder. And uh, now it's almost two years since we published this. We self-published this one, uh, this one, and uh, this one I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, are published by the biggest publisher in Iceland. This one we published ourselves, but you can get this one on ggart.is, <coughs> like actually all of them. But uh, Iceland, Wild at Heart, it's our best seller, I have to say. We published, uh, well, we didn't publish it, it was published by Forlay, the biggest publisher in Iceland in 2017 and uh, we are very proud of this one because this one is uh, taking on Iceland like we wanted to show it as we see it and uh, it's getting close to this spring they are printing it for the fourth time so it must be going very well the fourth print is on the way and uh, Look at it when you get to Iceland, or you can order it on ggr.is if you don't already have it. But uh, these both can be found in all major bookstores in Iceland if you're interested. Now, talking about plans and projects. Uh, we are getting a lot of questions, as I said, about guiding. But we live here in the north of Iceland. We don't guide, we don't do workshops. But I'm never going to say never. But what happened was that after our last two videos about the Arctic fox and the, the problems we have here in Iceland with, with the hunting of the Arctic fox, and uh, the development that now companies are starting to offer guided tours for uh, our Arctic Fox photography, which I have always considered almost impossible because of all the hunting. There are thousands of Arctic Foxes shot every year in Iceland, and it's sponsored by the government. Actually, Iceland is the only country I know of that is uh, sponsoring the killing of Arctic foxes, even at dance and killing the cubs. But that's another story. Now, we have been asked, are we guiding Arctic fox tours? No, not, no guiding, no workshops, no nothing. We make our living by selling photos. We make our living by selling books and uh, taking on projects that uh, yeah, make us alive in this business, stay in this business. Now, if you ever, just one advice in the end, uh, if you are ever in Iceland and you are a wildlife photographer, you are photographing Arctic fox, you are so lucky to uh, meet an Arctic fox in nature somewhere. Just keep in mind that it's heavily haunted here in Iceland. And yeah, keep the location to yourself. 
make sure no hunters know where it is. Uh, I don't care if it's in uh, a protected area. There's not so, of course, there are locations that everybody knows of, like a hot stranded. But uh, as I said, there are thousands of fought, uh, foxes killed every year, and uh, foxes are all over Iceland. You can meet a fox practically anywhere now. So if you do, keep this in mind, keep the location to yourself, and be aware or at least aware of the interest of hunters in this uh, Arctic animal. So, thank you for watching and uh, remember subscribe if you want to uh, be reminded of our next videos. Thank you.